Have you ever wanted to bring more artsy fun into your homeschool? Bringing bookmaking into your homeschool experience is where art and literacy intersect. The writing process can be a daunting one, especially for our most reluctant writers. Handmade books give our kids structure, architecture of the imagination, and they entice them to fill their books with original ideas and stories. I'm Alana, founder of Artful Teaching Joyful Learning, and I help educators and homeschoolers teach their kids with confidence, ease, and a splash of creativity so that their kids fall in love with learning. Handmade books excite and engage kids of all ages because they're not only beautiful in form, but they're an expression of themselves. A finished handmade book is something to celebrate and cherish forever. Kathy Maranker and Susie Payton said, a book made by hand is the perfect meeting place for artistic expression and emerging literacy. Bookmaking unlocks something amazing in kids. Creativity, enthusiasm, a zest for learning, concentration, patience, imagination, and lots of talent. It lets kids forge a personal connection to reading, to writing, to making art. Handmade books are a wonderful way to bring the worlds of art and literacy home to your child. Not only will your child have more ownership of their learning once they've created and publish their own book, but you'll also have a concrete piece of learning for their portfolio. Bookmaking is an art form that can be explored even with the youngest of learners. Handmade books can take on so many forms. Poetry books written all about the seasons. Life cycle and science books. Research investigation books. Idea books. Math fact books. And so much more. Today I want to share with you a really simple book structure that you can make with your kids or for yourself as a handmade journal. It's very simple to make and requires very few materials. I've used this structure as a nature journal as a way for my kids to document their curiosities and their observations while exploring nature. The materials you'll need are two sheets of cardstock or hand-painted paper. I like to use fancier paper for this, like handmade paper one narrow piece of contrasting color paper, and this is totally optional, white printer paper, a twig that you can find outside, the length of your paper, an elastic band, and a hole punch. Now here are the directions to make your journal. Now once you've lined up your pages, you'll want to assemble your book. I've used long printer paper that I've now folded in half, and then you're going to want to take your hole punch and punch a hole near the top and near the bottom. Then you'll want to pull punch the other pages, your cover, as well as your contrasting colored spine. That adds a nice pop of color to your book. Finally, weave your elastic band through the back of the book, looping it over the twig. I usually say that this is the worm trying to poke its way up through the hole. Do the same thing on the other side, stretching the elastic band across and weaving it up through the hole and over the twig. Your child might require a little bit of hand over hand assistance with this uh, fine motor detail. The stretching of the elastic band can be a little tricky for little hands, but with a bit of practice, they'll get it. Now this book structure can be repeated for many different applications, joke books, fact books, research investigation books, math fact books, even creative journals for your child, as well as a place to publish their original stories. Now, the nice thing about this book is that it's an expandable book, meaning you can always add more pages as needed. Add a title to your book and start filling your book with nature specimens, pictures, and observations. Down below, you'll find some prompts. Now, are you interested in learning more about the magic of bookmaking with your kids? I'm offering a wonderful bookmaking workshop. Details are down below.